This video is for students taking Cambridge ITCSE Chemistry in 2023 onwards. If you are taking your Cambridge ITCSE in 2022 or 2021, you may need to learn a little more about radioactive isotopes being an energy source. Check your specification for further details. Remember that an atom can be identified by the number of protons in its nucleus. Let's have a look at carbon as an example. Now, all carbon atoms have six protons, so their proton number is six, but not all carbon atoms are identical. Some have more neutrons than others. Most are like the one on the left-hand side, and that's called carbon-12, and it has six neutrons. That's why it's called carbon-12. Six plus six is 12. The one in the middle is less abundant. It's called carbon-13, and it has seven neutrons. So six plus seven is 13. And the one on the right side is the, is the rarest one. It has eight neutrons. It's carbon-14. Now, thinking about those three atoms of carbon, we've got a new definition that we need to learn and memorize, isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element which have the same proton number but a different nucleon number between them because they have a different number of neutrons. Now, most elements have isotopes. For example, calcium has six, magnesium has three, iron has four, and chlorine has two. So it's nothing strange. Now, this is a really important point that you need to be able to demonstrate understanding of. The different isotopes all have the same number of electrons. That means they have the same electrons in their outer energy level, their outer shells. So you expect isotopes of the same element to have exactly the same chemical behavior. And indeed, that is true. In our previous video, we went through how to describe any element in this short way, like, uh, like you see on the screen. Put the nucleon number at the top left-hand side of the symbol. Put the proton number on the bottom left-hand side of the symbol. Now, remember, for isotopes, that proton number will be the same. And then just remember to put the symbol correctly. It should be identical to the symbol in the periodic table. In questions, they may give you atoms in this format. Now, typical questions will give you uh, a name of an isotope, for example, carbon-13 in the middle, and they will ask you, identify the number of protons in there, identify the number of electrons and the number of neutrons. So remember, the proton number is basically the number of protons, which is equal in an atom to the number of electrons. Take that proton number away from the nucleon number, and you get the number of neutrons. So pause the video if you want to have a go at answering this question. How many neutrons are there in these atoms? So the answers are for silver 107, there are 60 neutrons. For copper 63, there are 34. For hydrogen 1, there are no neutrons. For neon 20, there are 10 neutrons. And finally, for uranium 238, there are 146. Just make sure that you really know how to do this well before you move on to working out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are in ions, which is coming up fairly shortly in our series. Uh, most of the time, people actually get the, uh, the atoms right when they get given the symbols, but when it comes to being given the symbols for ions, that's where things go really, really wrong. So get this knowledge in your head, and best of luck studying it.